like so much lighter. Under pressure, okay? Yeah. Unlock your full potential at Crack Addicts. I do get neck pain sometimes. Okay. And like it feels stiff. And like how long does it last? Is it like a day or two of it? Does it go longer than that? Or is it... Probably like two days, yeah. Do you have in the morning with it? Is it a sleeping thing? Is it a working? I think it might be like a sleeping thing. No one's really looked into this before mm -hmm. ever. Mm -hmm. um, do you ever get any numbness or tingling in your arms? Do you ever get any uh, fingertip numbness, tingling, pain? No. Okay, very good. Uh, do you ever get any headaches? Yes. Okay, tell me about your headaches. Like back here. It's kind of like inside, like okay, uh, behind my eyes. Like overworked, stressed, dehydrated. Probably stress. Do you ever get nauseous with them? Mm -hmm. Do you ever have to like go lay down and sleep? Yes. Okay. All right, looking at the feet first. Gonna go turn around the other way. You have a little bit of a, uh, uh, it's called a hallux valgus there, bunion. Someone has bunions in your family too? Go all the way down. All, all the way, way down. down. Yeah. We do have a head tilt probably to the other side on the right lateral flexion. Okay, stop right there. Is that tender? Uh-uh. Does it ever get tender? No. All right, put your hands on top of your hips like this. Okay, I'm going to replace your hands with my fingers, okay? Got it. Let that drop. Okay, high left hip. Okay, I'm gonna do a temperature evaluation of the back of my fingers. The back of the fingers are more sensitive to temperature. Very consistent, actually. There's no deviations from the right to left. Any tenderness here? Um. What about over here? Compare it. Does this feel like this? No, this I like feel this one more. Left more. Yeah. Okay, lower SI here. Nice and bouncy in the low back. Don't feel any restrictions there. You just have a slight rotation in your spine. There's more muscular prominence here on the right side in the shoulder blade area. It's just like a slight, it's not a curvature. Like what's this guy right here? What is that, huh? All right, so uh, you're gonna feel my fingers on the back of your hamstrings, okay? Okay. All right, so tracing up to the bottom of the glute fold, it's lower on the right. So that means the right hip is going back like this a little bit. And then looking from the, actually bring your feet together. Pictures here, there is no curvatures of the spine. Don't say the spine tells a slightly different story when you're laying down. So we're gonna palpate the spine in this position, okay? Okay. Nice, gentle breathing. Tender? Uh-huh. Right, this one here. Mmm, this guy too here, right? Uh-huh. Oh, I feel that. This one right here, right? Uh-huh. Okay, this is uh 21. So there's nothing to squeeze. So let's see this. Bring your ear down to your shoulders a little bit. This is postural. This is you hanging your head forward. What do you do for a living? Um, I work in an elementary school. I'm a behavior technician. Did you say behavioral technician? Uh-huh. I work <laughs> in an emotional support classroom, so. Whew, man, that's tough. Man. We go hands-on a lot. Turn. Does this one suck or what? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna put some magnesium on top of this. Right shoulder, back. Now you're still restricted this way, right? Yeah, a little bit. Still feel it? Mm -hmm. Is it better than before? It does feel better. Okay. Okay. Right short, stay short. 
So that points to the left AS, which is where we have the tenderness blocks underneath of your hips here. Like yes, good, down, let that relax. We'll do this one up here like this, good, down, let that relax. Okay. Yeah. Nice gentle breathing. Let it out softly. Put sinking in. We'll let this all sink. Good. Now let your shoulders relax as you breathe it out. Let it go. Rest of the thoracic spine is clear. Good. Letting this go here. Good. Sinking in. Shoulders relaxing. Good. Good. Hold on. There's one more though. Let this relax here. Good. Good. Lay your back. Let's give it a try. Deep breath in. Now. Good. Shoulders coming up. There's more. Hold on. Good. Lay on your back. All right. Let's see. Crack your own back. Let me see. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. I'll see if there's anything left. Okay. <laughs> Not getting anything. No, nothing. Bring your head to the right. So just nice, gentle breathing. I'm gonna do some traction here while I warm up your neck. Get ready for an adjustment. All you have to do is breathe. Good, gentle. Oh my God, that felt so good. Gentle, let the shoulders go. Ooh. <laughs> Squeeze my fist again. Squeeze. Is that it? I think so. <laughs> there. Then your ASIS, the front of your hip is here. We connect these two points in the middle is where we start looking for the ileocecal valve. Yours is here. So you know how to belly breathe? I think so. <laughs> okay. Go, let me see. Go and take a deep belly breath. Good and out. Oh. oh my god. Yes. <laughs> what was that? That was your full spine being adjusted. That was crazy. Yeah. Huge release in your neck, right? Oh my god, yeah. There's like a hundred cracks in there. Oh my god. <laughs> that felt anymore. insane. <laughs> All right, stand up, walk around, take it for a test drive. Okay. How's it feel? I feel like so much lighter. I don't know, I feel like loose. Okay. How's the neck feel? It feels great. It was insane. It was amazing. I don't know. <laughs> Relax here, good.
Harder. <laughs> oh, I can't. Okay. Ooh. Left push. I'm gonna bring this up. 